Welcome. Scott here. Here is a quick boss guide for the upcoming Lavinia Plus event, Kaduch Lost Chapter Mother Fixation. The featured units are Jet from Final Fantasy X, Kaduch from Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, Maria from Final Fantasy II and Elisai from Final Fantasy XIV. This event also marks the debut of Maria's LD. We will be fighting two Oroth Camilla which have 15 million HP each. They are immune to any kind of the debuffs that disables action. They are also immune to delay. The turn requirement is 65. The HP requirements is 10,000. Before I continue further, here is a small disclaimer clause for the video. The guide is written based on the time that the event that the lost chapter was released for the Japanese version. Please do note that it is possible that the boss fight mechanics might differ when the actual event is released in global. Firstly, let's go through the Lavinia Plus Orb conditions. The Lavinia Plus Orb conditions for the fight are as follows. 1. Count target receives an attack when the duration of a debuff, buff or special effect decreases before the start of the turn. 2. Count target receives an attack when the duration of a debuff, buff or special effect decreases. The orb will be activated at 79% HP threshold with the counter of 10. Upon its activation, the orb is not cancelable. For the first orb condition, only Maria LD debuff will fulfill the condition. For the second orb condition, we have a wider assortment of units which mechanics that can help to uptick the orb. For traps, examples are Ace, Trey, Emperor, Leon, and Celis. For effects, examples are Core, Garnet, and Vivi. Other than Maria, Ace is a premium option for this fight. Once his whole card flipped to Blind Stud, the debuff will trigger HP attacks when your party member are attacking the boss. This allows you to constantly uptick the orb even on your party's turns or actions. Most trap debuffs or effect requires the boss to take a turn to trigger the effect. Although untested, Core should work marvelously for this fight since his Link Strike attack allows him to supplement the Link partner's attacks. His Oath buff is great for providing damage mitigation with its break immunity along with its brave and HP damage resistances. Now let's proceed with some party setup recommendations. Recommended Calls Abilities To ensure that you are able to constantly break them, it is important to inflict defense down debuffs. Example of Calls Abilities that inflict defense down calls are Ferris, Jack, Titus, and Vanille. As the boss has a huge amount of HP, HP damage up debuff calls like Kareza May, Gabrinth, Ignis are useful. Although a bit trickier to use, aura type HP damage up calls like Queen and Kimari are also viable. As mentioned earlier, calls that have traps mechanics are Trey, Leon, Celis, and Kryl. As this is Kaduch's event, gold frame debuffs will be very useful so you can use Sephiroth as one of your call options. Next, I will be covering units that will be useful to handle the fight mechanics. Like other Lufania Plus events, it is always recommended to bring supports for their aura and buffs. They are Purim, Setzer, Bartz, Yuna, Garnet, Kate Sith, Maria and Afma. Unless you are bringing Ace or Maria, you will most probably be fighting a hit and counter game. Units that offer damage mitigation are important for the fight. Examples with counter are Golov, Kor, Beatrix and Orin. Non-counter options are Zack, Warrior of Light and Nine. Celis is another great tank for the fight since her traps also helps to uptick the orb. You can't delay the boss with delays so rebreaking them is one of the main ways to push back their turns. Options are Jet, Cloud of Darkness, Vane, Titus, Ishtala, and Arthen. Damager dealer options are Ace, Tira, Sid Reigns, Shelka, Lon and Ren and Vaughn. If you have problems in pushing back their turns, Zidane can offer great turn deletion while Quistus can bypass the delay resistances with her force delay mechanics. After facing a couple of events that feature heavy launch resistances, Sid Reigns will be very useful with his turn manipulation and awesome launch damage.
Here is a quick overview of the fight. On the screen, you will see a timeline showing the HP thresholds triggers that you need to watch out for. Compared to the original character event, this is a much toned down fight. Unlike the original event, the Oroth Camilla doesn't cleanse debuffs for every 10% HP lost. That time, that mechanic was implemented to sell the beauty of Kadusha's ability of inflicting gold frame debuffs. This time round, the mechanics are much simpler. At the 79%, 49% and 29% HP thresholds, the boss will autofill its recast gauge to max. At the 49% HP thresholds they will cleanse all debuffs except gold frame debuffs. The boss has a lot of hard hitting attacks. In particular, the recast ability is an important one to watch out for. Depending on the conditions, you will face a different type of recast attack. Now let's proceed with the boss mechanics proper. Like the previous Lavinia Plus fights, the boss will gain big stats boosts, brave damage, and brave gain reduction auras when you deplete their HP to a certain threshold. The threshold's trigger for this fight is at the start of the fight, 79% HP threshold and 49% HP thresholds. At the start of the fight, it will boost its defense by 200%. At 79% HP threshold, it will further boost the defense to 300%. The maximum brave damage reduction auras is 90%. The maximum brave gain reduction auras are 70%. Thanks to the tanky defensive boost that the boss gains, it is important to upkeep defense down debuffs on them. Brave damage up calls like Jack and Sephiroth are great for the fight as well. Next, I will be covering the boss key mechanics in detail. In addition to the standard Lavinia plus stats boosts, the bosses have additional mechanics when you deplete their HP down to a certain HP threshold. At the 79% HP threshold, they will fill up their recast gauge to full. At the 49% HP threshold, they will fill up their recast gauge to full and cleanse all debuffs except for gold framed ones. At the 29% HP threshold, they will fill up their recast gauge to full again. As you will be fighting against their recast ability often, it is important to know what are the triggers for the different types of recast ability. Other than its auto-filling triggers at the previously mentioned HP thresholds, the recast gauge takes 5 turns to be fully filled. Controlling the boss initial brave holds the key. If the boss current brave is lower than its initial brave, it will use evil eye a single target brave plus HP attack that is guaranteed hit. If the boss current brave is equal or higher than its initial brave, it will use evil eye plus which is a brave gain a single target brave plus guaranteed hit HP attack. It will also inflict petrify debuff for two turns. Petrification will disable the target turns. To remove it, you can either use a debuff's cleansing skill or wait for two turns to lapse. If there are any petrified units when the boss uses its recast, it will use eruption which is a brave gain, brave plus HP guaranteed hit attack. The synergy units Kadutch and Maria are great for controlling the boss brave gains. If you don't have Maria, Setzer is a premium option for his freeze joker to prevent brave gains and he will enable the party to max brave cap damage i.e. rainbow brave damage with his fixed dice buff. We have reached the final section of the boss guide. Here are some additional key pointers that you should look out for. One. Boss can't get shut down or delayed. The boss is immune to any form of debuffs that can shut down its attacks, paralysis, confusion, HP silence, sleep, etc. So don't bother bring them to stop the boss. 2. Control their brave by a brave steal or brave gain negations mechanics. The boss has very strong brave regans which can make them gains lot of brave fast. Deploy units that negate the brave gains or steal the brave gains will make the fight more manageable. Examples are Setzer and Kadutch. You can also use these calls for further brave control options like Ferris, Yuffie, Edward, or Waka. Both Kadutch and Jet have brave steal mechanics in their kit. 
You can also nullify their brave gains with Sephiroth or Galvez BT auras. X Death is also a good option for his brave control with his debuffs. Constantly upkeeping sap or poison debuffs on the boss should enable your task of controlling their brave gains easier. 3. Most traps debuffs need boss to take a turn. With the exception of Ace, most traps debuffs will trigger when boss takes a turn. Breaking the boss out of order if you are not using Ace for your run. Because the boss needs to take a turn, make sure you bring tanks to mitigate the attacks. Ace is definitely an MVP for the fight if you have his LD. 4. Boss have lots of HP attacks. As you can't disable the boss turns, bring a tank is an important consideration unless you keep pushing back the boss turns with rebreaks. Quistus can force delay the boss if you have her. Here are some other boss notable HP attacks other than its recast ability. Drain Eye, a single target brave gain, HP attack, restores the boss HP based on damage dealt. Earth Crush, a deadly AoE brave plus HP attack. Be careful when you see the boss is targeting all as this could wipe out your party if you don't have any strong form of damage mitigation. Wallop, a single target brave plus HP. The boss often uses this if its current brave is hot. 5. Save some debuffs calls before 49%. The boss will cleanse all debuffs, except gold framed, at the 49% HP threshold. Save some of debuff calls otherwise you will have problems in handling the boss defenses without them. We have come to the end of the guide. If you like the video, please do give the video a like. Please do subscribe to my channel for future related content. Good luck for the event. Bye.